Alright, just wanted to make a quick video addressing a common atheistic claim. Uh, what they like to do is they'll quote Genesis chapter 3 verse 1 to 5 and say, See, there's talking snakes in the Bible, there's talking animals, therefore it's just a bunch of non-fiction. Well, here's the fun thing about that. And by the way, I should point out that I am a former atheist. Uh, in my early teens, I was a pretty rabid atheist. Uh, but God, of course, saved me out of the sci-fi religion, the communist religion of atheism. But the common uh, atheist argument I've heard uh, a lot is that, well, there's talking animals in the Bible. Well, here's the fun thing about that. According to Darwinian atheistic uh, ideology and philosophy and theory, and, you know, key word on theory, uh, basically humans evolved our, our descendants and evo are basically evolutionary descendants of monkeys and apes. So essentially we're all just a bunch of animals. And guess what? Humans talk. I mean, I'm talking right now in this video. So uh, atheists essentially believe in, in a race of talking animals. Because if we're just a bunch of mammals, we're just a bunch of, of apes who have evolved, then by this, if we're going to be consistent with the atheistic logic, uh, every human on earth is a talking animal, therefore atheists believe in talking animals. Yeah, I, I guarantee you they're going to find some twists and say, well, we don't, we don't believe it like that or whatever, because I've gotten comments like that. But if we are to be consistent, that is what it leads to. Humans are a bunch of talking animals. So atheists themselves believe in talking animals, if we're going to be consistent with their logic. So that's why I say that any rationally thinking, logically minded person is not going to fall for atheism as I did in my early teens. So don't be deceived by atheism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.